Hi, reach out and read of Greater New York friends. My name is Carrie, and I'm so happy to be here with you guys today. We are doing another episode of our series Beyond the Book, where we're looking at really awesome new books that are coming out for children. And then we're going to show you guys an activity that you can do after you read the story. So today's story is going to be called The Three Billy Goats Buenos. You might have heard of the Three Billy Goats Gruff before, but I'm not sure if you've ever heard of the Three Billy Goats Buenos. So this is a story about the Three Billy Goats Gruff that takes kind of a twist when one of the goats asks, why is the troll so grumpy? And things change from there. Super fun, and it also has a lot of Spanish words in it. So there's kind of like a Spanglish twist on it. So you can learn new words, or you can recognize some old words if you already know some Spanish. After you read the story, you can do your own activity at home called a bridge building activity. And you can use materials that you could just find around your house. Nothing special, nothing unique. You don't have to go out and buy anything. Just find what you have. I took a look around this morning and I found some materials that I think would be great for this bridge building activity. So I found some toilet paper tubes. These are amazing. Kids can do all kinds of fun stuff with these. We can be very creative. So I have four of them. I also found some cardboard. I used the, I cut this out of a cardboard box. So if you uh, have a young child, you can have your parents cut that out for you. And then I also found some construction paper. So what I wanted to do and what you want to do next is try your best to build a bridge. What is your bridge going to look like? Now, my thought is these toilet paper tubes can represent the two different sides of the bridge. And then I need to put something over top that someone could walk on, like our Billy Goat Scruff in this story, the Billy Goat's Buenos. So that was my thought, is then to try the cardboard and then also try the paper. And what I'm going to do with this then is I could take some of my animal friends I could reenact the story of the three Billy Goats Buenos. Or what I can do also is see how much weight I can hold um, on my bridge. So you can test out different materials. You can test out the paper. Then we can test out the cardboard and see which one holds the most weight. We can make predictions beforehand. We can make a hypothesis beforehand. Which one do you think is gonna hold more weight? Piece of paper? Can I put the piece of paper over top? Or do you think the piece of cardboard? Let's see. I'll start with the cardboard. That's my hypothesis. I think the cardboard is going to hold more because as I'm looking at it, it's a little bit thicker. It doesn't bend as easily. And I think it's going to hold more of my animals. So here we go. I've got it positioned right. It's staying up good. Let's start with some of my smaller animal friends. I have a tiger. As long as he'll stand. I might have to put him sideways like this. Holds him. My little hamster. I can fit him on. My duck. I'll fit. Let's see if I can fit my dinosaur on as well. Oop, I might need to move him a little bit. It's holding. It's very sturdy, that piece of cardboard. Let's see if it holds my last puppy dog. Look at that. You can see it might be bending a little bit, but the cardboard is holding up really, really strong. All right, let's test our second material. Now, instead of using the cardboard, I'm going to put the piece of paper across. Now, right from the beginning, I'm seeing a little bit of a bend here. Do you see that? Let me start with my small animal. Let me start with my tiger. Uh-oh. Bridge collapsed. Paper wasn't strong enough to hold it up. Let me think though. I think I know a way that I can use one piece of paper and I can still get it to hold my tiger. Here's what I'm thinking. I'm thinking as I was looking at the cardboard, I see how it's kind of folded. If you've ever looked at a piece of cardboard on the side, you can see there's multiple pieces of paper and they're 
there's like a little bit of a wave going through the middle piece of paper. So I'm going to use that theory and I'm going to work it into my piece of paper. I'm going to do what's called an accordion fold. So I fold one way. I'll just do it like this. I'll do it like this. Long way. I'll fold one way. Do a little fold like that. And then I'll flip the paper over and I'll fold it the other way so that it looks like this. It's starting to look like an accordion. Fold it one way and the other way. Fold it one way and the other way. I'm thinking that this folding is going to make my paper stronger. So I think it will be able to hold my tiger. So I folded the whole piece of paper and this is what it looks like. My accordion fold. And just look at this, that's looking much stronger already. Let's build my bridge again. Got the toilet paper rolls on both sides. Now I'll put this paper on top. Now do you think it's gonna hold my tiger? Let's see. Easily, it can easily hold my tiger. Still the same piece of paper, but it can hold my tiger. I might move my bridge over a little bit. It's about the same as before. Let's see how much else it can hold. Can it also hold my hamster? And my duck? Mm, getting good. Let's see if it can hold my dinosaur too. Look at that, it's doing almost as well as the cardboard. Let's see, can it hold my puppy dog? Oh, I see it's creasing a little bit over here, but it's still holding. That's amazing. The same piece of paper, we could fold it and it now works as a bridge. I hope you guys enjoy the bridge building activity. Like I said, you can use any types of materials that you have at home. It doesn't just have to be the ones that I showed you here. Or if you have some older kids and older friends, you can even make it more challenging. You can try to use toothpicks or popsicle sticks and glue and see if you can make your own bridge. That's a little trickier. Well guys, I hope you have fun with this activity and I hope you had fun reading the three Billy Goats Buenos. Have fun everyone.